I'm back. Yeah. So now that you know how to find the end time, we're going to kind of take things a step further and we're going to think backwards. So I'm really going to confuse you, but don't worry. Never fear. Mrs. Cool is here and I just need to point out my shirt. It says teaching is my jam. And for those of you that are young, that is a cassette. That is a cassette that we used to listen to music on. So there's your history lesson for today. Um, so boys and girls, my question to you is if I gave you a end time, could you tell me the start time. So just to review, we've been really good about finding those starts, those end times, but now we got to think backwards. Think about what you know. Ask yourself, what do I know? Well, if I look at this analog clock here, remember that analog clock, the shorthand, the hour hand is pointing to the two. And sometimes that can be tricky because it can be before the two or after the two, but this one's pretty easy for us. It's exactly on the two. Now that longer hand, remember minute, as we always said, um, minute is a longer word and that's why it has a longer hand. So remember those, those helpful hints that we reviewed early on in the year. So this clock says two o'clock. This is when my activity ended. Not quite sure what the activity it is. Make it what you want it to be. But I do know that if it ended at two o'clock, that means an and it lasted for an hour and 15 minutes, if I work backwards, dun, 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 instead of starting here like we did in the beginning of this slide project, we're going to start over here. And we're going to put our end time. We know that our end time is 2 o'clock. And we know that the activity was 1 hour and 15 minutes, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to add that great tall mountain with that peak. But instead of adding an hour, we're going to subtract an hour because we're moving backwards. So if it's two o'clock, what was one hour ago? That's right, it was one o'clock. Good job, boys and girls. So we have from two o'clock, work backwards for one hour, it gets us to one o'clock. Now, this is where it gets hairy. We, if we move from one o'clock and we go backwards, 15 minutes. So it's not even quite a big mountain, just maybe a little one. And we're gonna label this 15 minutes. I need you to think, hmm, on my analog clock, if it's one o'clock and I take it back and I say, huh, if I have one o'clock, what is the one, what's the hour that comes right before one o'clock? Well, yeah, in our time, this isn't military time, but in our time, we're going to go back to 12 o'clock because it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 o'clock. And as soon as we get to 12 o'clock, we start back over to 1 o'clock. So when we do my subtract or take away 15 minutes from 1 o'clock, we are using, we're going to be in the hour of 12, but not 12 o'clock. It's going to be 12 and then some minutes. So let's go backwards from one o'clock. If I go backwards five minutes, if I go backwards five minutes, it's gonna be 12.55. That's five minutes, 12.55. But I need 15 minutes, just like this mountain's telling me. So I have 12.55, backwards five more. 12.50, that's right. And backwards five more, 12.55. 45. That was our start time, boys and girls. At 1245, we started this activity. And if I had one hour and 15 minutes later, so if I add 15 minutes to 1245, it gets me to one o'clock. If I add one hour to one o'clock, it gets me to two o'clock. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we figure out our start time. So right now you can type in this plate, this space in the box and put 1245 and show me that digital time. So we have an analog clock and a digital clock. So remember, keep a close eye out for any time that you move from one, to 12 o'clock, okay? Because that can be that tricky piece, but you can do it. Nice job, boys and girls. I can't wait to see what you can do.